Hey friends, I have created a flyer here in Canva and um, actually I just modified something that they had and I am making it to uh, the specifications of one of my bosses. So uh, let me just start by telling you what I did to get started. Um, I think I looked up retreat flyer and um, in looking up a retreat flyer, uh, Canva has templates. I think I looked up retreat flyer. Yep, there it is. So I looked up retreat flyer. I suppose I scrolled uh, down here to find something that uh, fit what I needed or at least something that I liked as far as the layout. I really don't pay attention to any of the words, the colors, anything else because I know I can change it. I'm just looking at layouts. Uh, I wish I could show you what that original layout looked like, but I don't see it. So, um, what I did was I took something that looked kind of like this. I was going to say very much like it, but I made enough um, edits for it, it not to look the same much at all outside of the layout of it. So, the formats, I've, all, I've changed all of that. But you'll see here what the framework generally was like. And um, after those general uh, changes to colors and fonts over time, then here is what I ended up with. And unfortunately, I cannot find what I originally started with, you guys. I can't even uh, look at the history to see it because that would have been really cool to be able to share with you. Uh, but anywho, what we have now is the modified outlook with the changes and all of the, um, just the setup. You can see that the verbiage is blank. This is Lauren. It's some text, Latin text that is just a placeholder for designers. So I just changed some things. I made the backgrounds. I put our logos in. I put some of these uh, pictures in and the logos. So that looks pretty nice. And I put some uh, definitive information um, down at the bottom. And then she asked me to change um, some particular text to columns. So what I did was I took what was already there. I changed it to columns, uh, columnar format. And because I just wanted to use that as a template, I went ahead and duplicated that one more time, made additional modifications. And so here is the final result. This area here is blank because we are waiting on some more information to come through. Uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, show you the purpose for creating this, uh, this video. I am creating it because I want to show you how to take a graphic and make it editable. You want templates that you could use in Microsoft Word, that you could share with your work team, so on and so forth. Uh, as designers, you may not always want to give the client full access to your designs for various reasons, um, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is going to be like one of the coolest things you ever saw in your life because you don't know how to do it. Many people don't know how to do this, but um, you're going to know now. So what you do here is you click on this share button and you click on download and this is going to give you the various formatting um, options for how to share it. We're going to share this as a PDF for printing and I only want to share the third page. So I'm going to type in here manually page three. You could also do it by scrolling, but when you have like hundreds of pages, you don't want to do that. So just type it in. The color spaces for printing is what I selected. Printing colors are different than the color code, the color um, formatting that's used on screen. So you have RGB and then you have CMYK. If you're a designer, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not a designer, don't worry about it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just press uh, download for that. And it's going to give me a PDF print, which is going to open up in um, Adobe. And so once it opens up in Adobe, this is the part that you need to know. This is the part that is going to let us do some of our best work yet. Ha. So here we are. We have this in Adobe now. 
uh, and it's nice. Uh, I like to look at it in Adobe because it shows me that all my graphics are high quality graphics. There's no blurring. Um, all the fonts are good and yeah, everything is, is, is kosher. But here's what we want to do. We want to go to file and only if you have a subscription can you do this. Um, but we're going to go to file. We're going to export to Word. Word 97 to 2003. Honestly, I could probably just do it as a regular Word document. But um, we're exporting this to a Word document. Okay. So as I export that to a Word document, it's going to voila, voila, boom, boom, bang. And as it does all of that, I now have something that is editable, okay? Um, and I can go in here and modify everything I need to. And you see the graphic shows up just like what I had. There's no format that is not the exact same. Sometimes when you try to do major changes like this in your formatting to go from an image to go to a... Uh, to go through something that's editable is sometimes very difficult to do, but not so, not today. So now you have something that um, your person can make changes to this template. And as the designer, you don't have to keep going back and forth with the client to uh, get done what you need to get done. They have all full access to it. You can send it to them as a finished design. You don't have to keep making those changes. And the client can use this for future um, designs or what have you. So that is the way to take what you have as an image and turn it into something that is editable and your life will be forever changed. <laughs> Honey, you love this right now. So thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to all these videos and look at what I have next. Talk to you soon.